Hello everybody, this is Mr. Rama. Welcome back to episode number 6 of the Los Angeles Clippers, my NBA series here on NBA 2K24. And today the Clippers are on the road in San Antonio to take a first look at the number one overall pick out of this year's draft, Victor Wimbayama out of France, as we get to see what he's all about. So there are the starting lineups for this one. Trey Jones, Devin Vassell, Keldon Johnson, and Jeremy so Chan are the other starters for the Spurs, while well, the Clippers will have their usual starters. Marcus Morris at the power forward instead of Nicholas Batum. If you're excited for this one, tip-off is underway. Make sure you drop a like and you subscribe down below, especially if you want more My NBA content, as I appreciate all the early support in this Clippers series. Clippers are currently 4-7, and seven, so this is also a big win for them to try to stop what has been a early season skid, as the Spurs, thanks to Wimby, won the toss. They miss their first shot. Well, Morris will also miss the first shot for the Clippers. The three ball rattles around the rim and is off the mark. The Spurs were very fortunate to win the lottery this past draft. The first time they've had the number one pick, overall pick since Tim Duncan. And they get to the generational talent that is Victor Wimbayama. And you can see him on the floor, just a presence standing at the free throw line. As here's Kawhi Leonard, the former Spur as he obviously doesn't get the most welcome return to San Antonio from the fans, but he does get the first bucket of the game thanks to the mid-range two-pointer. Kawhi Leonard averaging 22 points per game this season, shooting almost 50% from the field with four assists. He does have one triple-double to his name already this season. As now with Spurs the ball, here's Jones at the top of the key. Nice defense by San Antonio. Here is one by Adam. Touching the ball for the first time. Just gives it right back off to Trey Jones, who tries to put it up, and he does. Somehow gets that shot to go past the arms of both Westbrook and Morris, who came over for the help. And we're all knotted up at two apiece again. Russell Westbrook on the other end. He's going to see George. He's going to try to drive inside, and he gets fouled. Victor Wimbayama actually called for the foul there. And Paul George will head to the line to shoot two. Paul George averaging 24.4 points per game of his own right, over 90% from free throw. He's been very good offensively for this Clippers spot. Uh, maybe I would say their best player overall. He does make one of two from the free throw line, so quickly the Spurs on the other end. Here's a nice step back from Trey Jones. That was a very nifty move by Trey as he hit him with the spin and the step back, and the Spurs have their first lead of the ball game. Let's see if Kawhi Leonard can answer right back. As he's going to get a screen from Zubach and tries to get inside. He's got a little bit of space, but instead he kicks it out back to the three-point line where George will fire and hits. Three-point ball is good for PG-13, who's played a lot better on the road this season than he has at home as that points per game on the road is close to 30. But nice vision there by Leonard. He found Morris on the outside, and the one extra pass gave them the three. As here's Victor for three. He misses on his first field goal attempt of the ball game. Spurs quickly going to try to push the pace. Russell Westbrook gets inside. No foul call. Misses the shot, but he does get his own rebound. And the Clippers will kick it back out. They'll try to reset. Morris on the right side. Here's a give to George. Another three ball from PG. And this one, he does miss. As that one had a good look, but unable to hit the bottom of the net. And now Victor on the other end. This time being guarded by Paul George. I mean, just look at the height advantage Victor has over anybody. He doesn't get that one to go, but... It's another good attempt. As here's Westbrook inside. Just going to hand it off to George. A little bit of a clunky possession here. So the Clippers will kick it back out and try to reset. Screen left side. Westbrook pulls up for mid-range. No, gives it off to Zubac. He has a wide open look, but he's off the mark. Avika has not been that good offensively for the Clippers, I would say, in the early parts of this season. And he's kind of been a little bit of a liability on defense as well. So he needs to step up his game, I would say, especially if he wants to be in the starting lineup. There's Victor for two again. He does miss as the Spurs have kind of gone cold here to start the ball game. On the other end, here's the Clippers as he gets ripped. Nice hands there by Trey Jones to get the steal. And they don't see Kawhi Leonard turn the ball over very often. And now he's pressuring the ball carrier. As Jones will pull this one back. Has Kawhi on him. And drive right side gets a little bit of a step on the claw and he makes it. Trey Jones with a hot start to this game as the Spurs are... Shooting a little bit better from the field. This has not been the best offensive ball game, but it is tied up at 6-6. Six to six. On the other end, screen for Westbrook. Thought about pulling for three. Gives it up again. And just going to reset back into Westbrook's hands. Now George with it wide open. He's going to pass to Westbrook, who misses the three in and out. Got to get that one to fall. But instead, it's the Spurs going the other way. 
And here's Trey Jones once again. He's going to give it up for Keldon Johnson. Victor one by on off the off-ball screen, and he gets it to go. Nice two-pointer. And the Clippers will call timeout as the Spurs, they take an early 8-6 to six lead here in the first quarter. A couple minutes later in the first quarter, it's the Clippers who now have the lead, 16-13. to 13. Well, Victor is actually headed to the bench because he's picked up his second foul in just the first quarter. So getting in a little bit of foul trouble early. So the Spurs will have to readjust. Here's Norman Powell who's checked into the ball game. He has it. Eight seconds left to go on the shot clock. Finds Marcus Morris wide open for three, and he hits. The big man from downtown extends this lead, doubles it, as the Clippers have gone on a 13-5 run in the past seven and a half minutes, outscoring the Clippers overall. The cell now gets the screen. Zach Collins has taken the spot of Victor. That's a horrible shot, fading way to his left. And of course, he misses. Is going the other way now is Kawhi. Clippers winning the rebound battle. That's because the Spurs have missed a lot more shots than Los Angeles has. As Kawhi awaits the screen. He's going to get it right side, and he's going to give it up for Morris. He gives it right back to Leonard. Four seconds left on the shot clock. Got to start to try to make something happen. And they're going to get an off-ball screen, and, and no, not going to connect. So good look there at the last second, but it doesn't go. Now the Spurs are going to try to get their first point in the past three minutes. Clippers have played some very good defense. Says there's another shot off the mark. That one I think was just a bad miss for San Antonio, who's gone ice cold here in the second half of the first quarter. Litter now trying to drive by. There's a double team. He's going to find Westbrook in the corner for three. No, again, Westbrook misses from downtown. Kelvin Johnson will collect the rebound as Westbrook's off to a one-for-five start in this ball game. As there's a good look from Zach Collins, but he can't get it to go. And again, the Clippers are going to go the other way. Screen for Leonard. He loses the ball right into the hands of Devin Vassell. And it's just been some sloppy basketball. Is now down underneath. Johnson gets swatted by Zubach. A crazy couple of possessions now. Is cutting the other way as Westbrook from mid-range. And this time he does connect. Second shot made of the day for Westbrook. It's his fourth points. And now the Clippers have an eight-point lead. Thanks to the good find by the Claw. Trey Jones will look to bring it up. And they'll call timeout. The Spurs down by eight. As we'll go to the end of the first quarter. And it's 27 to 15. The Clippers with a 12 point lead after one quarter of basketball. As we'll check in now in the second. Still an eight point lead, 32 to 24 now. As in front of the line for two is Devin Vassell, as he'll miss the first. Second free throw is up and in, so he makes one of two. And the Clippers are now have a seven point lead. Victor has yet to re-enter this ball game as well as a couple of the backups come in. As you can see, Norman Powell gets the screen right side. He tries to throw up an alley-oop, but that was just a bad pass. Zubash, though, fighting for the basketball, but it's free, and it's going to be a breakaway for Zach Collins, who jams it down with one hand. Unlucky there for the Spurs, who just didn't have the ball roll their way. And that's an easy two for San Antonio. Now a 32-27 or to 27 ball game. Powell again with it. This time I'm going to get a screen from Westbrook. And Norman Powell's got a lane. He's just going to pull it from the mid-range, though. I don't really like that idea. Zubak does collect the rebound. So another chance for the Clippers as George gets the screen right side. He gets double teamed. So trying to find the man in the corner. Powell pump fakes twice. And Kenyon Martin's just going to throw it up. And he can't hit. Bad possession there by the Clippers. It's now the Spurs starting to find themselves a little bit of momentum. Still so has it left side, being guarded by Westbrook. Finds Reggie Bullock, the former Denver, or Dallas Maverick, excuse me, underneath. He's going to try to fade away on Martin, and he can't. So that was a tough shot. And now it's the other way for the Clippers, quickly pushing the pace. George back at the three-point line. Westbrook on the left side. He's going to pull. He's actually going to pull it down and try to dribble. Gets stopped inside, just trying to reset, trying to get a possession out of this. Calls for the screen. Finds Martin underneath, and Kenyon Martin with an easy two. Pushes the lead back up to seven. San Antonio starting to find a little bit of a groove, but they still trail by a good bit. Zach Collins will have it at the top of the key. Handoff for Trey Jones, who tries to get inside, but he does draw the foul against Westbrook. So Trey Jones will go to the line and shoot two. Makes the first one. As Jones has had a pretty significant part of the Spurs offense, especially with Wimbayama being out. Jones has really led the way as he makes two more free throws there as the Spurs are 8 for 9 from the stripe. Westbrook now gets a screen from Avika. Looks right side. Doesn't like what he sees, so he's just going to set it back out. Here's Paul George now. Martin comes to set the screen. He gets it. George will throw it up, but instead he misses. 
Zubash tries to save it. Good attempt, but Zach Collins will come down with it. And now Trey Jones on the other end trying to spin by Westbrook. Gets inside and again draws the foul. Just too much is Trey Jones inside. As we'll actually go later into the second quarter now. It's only a three-point game. Make it two as Victor Wimbayamo now is at the stripe. And what was a double-digit lead for the Clippers is now shrunk to just two. Spurs has done a very good job getting to the free throw line. It's Leonard inside for Zubak. He has Wimbayama in front of him. Has to swing it back out to Morris. Now it's a Terrence Mann who's checked in for Russell Westbrook. Kawhi Leonard again with the basketball screen. Pulls. Only got two seconds. Got to try to do something here. As Martin has to fire from a long two and it doesn't hit. And now here come the Spurs with a chance to tie it. Trey Jones, who's still in the ball game, by the way, being guarded now by Terrence Mann, gets the screen left side. He's going to give it, try to pick and pop. It doesn't seem to work, but Victor's got fleet feet, gets inside, and hits the and one. What a circus layup. Marcus Morris tried to foul. It didn't seem to matter. And now Victor, for the old-fashioned three-point play, gives the Spurs a lead for the first time since early in the first quarter. San Antonio leads 44-43. to One minute to go here in the first half as Nashawn Highland has checked in now at point guard. He's trying to work away on Jones. Doesn't, can't get anything. Throws a wild pass. Morris is, or George, excuse me, was lucky to bat that one down. And it's now Robert Covington. Throws an alley-oop for Kenyon Martin. What a jam. One hand. Kenyon Martin slams it home. You can see it twice. As now the Spurs trail by one. 30 seconds left to go in the first half of play. Here's Keldon Johnson. One by Yama at the top of the free throw line. Nice defense there by Avika. Has to force him to throw it up. He uses his long arms to get a clean shot, but he's unable to get it to go. Now 15 seconds. Shot clock has been turned off. Leonard in the corner for three. No, can't connect. That was a good chance to extend the lead, but instead the Spurs will get one last possession with it. Trying to take a half lead for three. It is in. Victor Wimbayama pulls up from the top of the key. He hits, and the Spurs will take a two-point lead to the half, 47-45. to The first quarter was all L.A., while the second quarter was nothing but San Antonio. Who will win the final two quarters of play? We'll have to find out in the second half. So the Clippers dominated in the first one. Paul George leading the way for them with 15, but the Spurs came roaring back with 32 of their own in the second corner to take a 47 to 45 lead both teams have not shot the ball overly that well but the spurs have done a very good job at getting to the free throw line to get those free points and it's paid dividends as they hold a two-point lead we're back into the second half now as the clippers will start off with the basketball as westbrook tries to look for an opening can't get anything so he's going to try to take his man isolation here has nine seconds left on the shot clock westbrook pulls up for mid-range and that was just a bad possession I don't think the ball was moved once out of the hands of Russell, and it allows for the Spurs to get the ball back. Trey Jones, who's had Westbrook's number today, has got the ball, but he gives it up to Victor, who gets inside, but Zubach with a great recovery swats that one away. Victor had a step, but Zubach said, uh-uh, I'm not going to allow you to score that, and it translates to a Paul George 2 to tie it up at 47. Now the Spurs with the ball. Spurs looking for a pretty decent season. I don't think they have high expectations other than just to see Victor Wimbayama's development and hopefully to see him improve as the season goes along. As here's Sochan down low and he actually just steps out of bounds. That's actually a turnover there. Just wasn't aware of the sideline I guess being behind him. Here is Wimby's stats in the early portion of the season. He's second amongst rookies in field goal percentage. So that's good to see out of him. You'd expect him though to be maybe number one. As Russell Westbrook now on the other end for the Clippers with the basketball, the former NBA MVP. Gives it up to the claw. Kawhi Leonard trying to work on his man. Gets inside, draws the foul, and will go to the line for two. Trey Jones is the culprit there, his second foul of the day. As Kawhi Leonard had eight first half points, he's looking to add to that as he gets his ninth there with three assists as well. And Leonard hits double figures thanks to the second free throw, and he gives the Clippers a 49-47 to lead. Jones now with the basketball, bringing it up for the Spurs as both teams have their starters coming out of the half on the court. As here's Wimbayama, finds a nice pass to Vassell who gets by his man. He actually got away from his defender and he's able to hit. Nice eyes there by Wimby who's not just a good scorer. He can, he can dribble, he can pass the ball. He's just a very good all-around player. That's why there's so many teams who wanted to get Victor this year and 
The Spurs just won the tank. They won the lottery. Westbrook now is going to try to give it inside. Here's Leonard with the basketball as Westbrook cuts baseline. Nothing there. And now Kawhi Leonard isoed on his man. Tries to drive by. I'm actually just going to hand it off to Westbrook who got free. And that's a nice three ball. Westbrook finally gets one to go. Good hustle by Westbrook. He was supposed to cut the baseline. It wasn't open. But Westbrook has always been known for his hustle. Continued to cut and found the open spot on the three-point line. And he extends the Clippers' lead now 52-49. to As here's one by Yama inside. And he gets fouled. Zubach is the culprit there. His first foul of the day. And Victor goes to the free throw line. He's done a very good job of getting to this spot. Victor was in some early foul trouble back in the first quarter, but it doesn't seem like it's followed him into the later portions of this game. And he's been able to put his stamp on it as he gets two more free throws there. And now the Spurs only trail by one, 52 to 51 LA. George with it left side. Trying to look for something. He's going to get a screen. It's not effective. Paul pulls it back. Now trying to just work ISO on his man. As he drives right side, here comes the help. Gives it over to Leonard. Got about four seconds left on the shot clock. Trying to make something of his. Leonard will pull up from the mid-range, and he connects. Mid-range, Leonard at it again as he gets two more points. His 12th of the night, shooting 44% from the field. And the Clippers re-extend their lead back to three. Trey Jones with it on the other end now. Going to dump it inside. Here's Sochan again being guarded by Morris. And Sochan somehow hits that one to go. It looks like an odd shot, but nonetheless... Clippers will also call timeouts. We'll go later into the third quarter now. This one tied up at 65 apiece. It's been a very close game since the half. No team able to pull up away from the other. Second teamers are in for the Clippers now. As here's Terrence Mann with the basketball. He's got 10 seconds left on the shot clock. He's doing a lot of dribbling here. And it's now winding down to five seconds. They got to go. And he tries to drive inside. And he actually gets fouled. That was Cameron Payne, the former Phoenix Sun who fouls man not a good foul as the shot clock was winding down as now Terrence will head to the line for two trying to make the most of it he does get the first and the second one is up and in so nice two points there as the Clippers continue just to hold a little bit of an advantage the Spurs have always been right there but it doesn't seem like they've just been able to get the lead they've tied it up a lot but it's always been the Clippers who've kind of held the advantage Here's Branham now with the basketball as he misses. But a nice hustle to get his own rebound and now kicks it back out. Zach Collins now has it. Going to give it up to Cameron Payne. Payne being guarded by Mann. He's going to get a screen right side. Now has Leonard in front of him and pulls up over him. But no, doesn't fall. The ball just spins out of the hoop. And the Clippers will collect the rebound and push the other way. Here's Mann. At the top, right side of the key, gives up to Leonard, gets his man in the air, and he drives right by him, and oh my gosh, he was going to throw that one down if Victor didn't foul him. So instead, Leonard will go to the line for two. He's now pushed it up to 22 points here as he has 14 in this quarter. Chance now to make it 15, and he does. So nice two for two there by Leonard. 69-65 is your score as the Clippers are in San Antonio. This is the one of two matchups these two will play as these two will also meet in this exact same arena, the Frostbank Center, two nights from now for round number two. So a good little chance to scout the other one as there's a nice little play there from Zach Collins to get a tough inside two-pointer. Clippers 4-7 and seven on the season. The Spurs sit at 4-9. and nine. It's Leonard trying to drive left side. Pulls it back. Now trying to drive right side. He draws a lot of defenders into the paint. Tries to find the open man for three, but Terrence Mann cannot connect. No pun intended. As now Devin Fussell will try to drive. Gives it up to Cameron Payne. Now over to Collins. Has Plumley on him. Going to go right side. About seven seconds left to go on the shot clock. Now there's a double team and actually call for a foul. Kawhi Leonard tried to reach in there. Not... Entirely sure why, as this ball will stay with the San Antonio Spurs, and the shot clock will go back up to 14. And there's 38 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. See what the Spurs can cook up. Cameron Payne now. Screen left side. Pulls at the top of the screen, but he doesn't connect. Off the mark is Payne. And now pushing the other way is the Clippers, as Kenyon Martin tries to get inside. Finds Norman Powell, who puts it up for two. Nice play there by Kenyon Martin to find the open man. Been very impressed with Kenyon Martin since he's come over with the Clippers. I think if there is one young player who I think could be the, a future of this team, it is Kenyon Martin. He's a very good young player who can drive, he can slam, he can slash it down. And I think him playing at that power forward position could help him unlock his potential. 
Here's Vassell for a long two. It doesn't connect. Rebound is collected by Plumlee. Leonard gets the shot off, but it's not even close. And the Clippers will take a 71-67 to lead going into the final quarter. And we'll go halfway through it as the Clippers now lead by seven. It is 83-76 to as we get ready for the home stretch. You see a lot of the starters checking back in. Leonard and Zubach have re-entered the game for the Clippers. And you see Wimbayama, Johnson, and Trey Jones out there again for the Spurs. So starters back on the court for both teams. As here's a mid-range two that doesn't connect. Keldon Johnson couldn't get it to fall. Now the Clippers have extended their lead out to seven. Trying to add some more points here as Leonard gets inside. Instead, we'll pull it back. It's green for George. He tries to get inside. Draws a couple of defenders. Finds Zubac. A nice finish. Good pick and roll there by the Clippers. George. Very good job of keeping his eyes up. Doesn't just go for the contested shot, but instead finds an easier one for the center. And it's now a nine-point lead here for the Clippers, their largest lead since the second quarter. As you still have half a quarter of play, Mbayama couldn't get by his two defenders. Here's Jones now being guarded by Westbrook. Over to the right side, Sochan. Three seconds left to go. He has to pull from deep, and this one's off the mark, and the Spurs offense starting to go cold at the wrong time. Westbrook on the other end will pull it back. Trying to set something up here. So here's Kawhi now with the basketball. He gets a screen right side. And again, Leonard will pull it from the mid-range. This time it doesn't work. But Zubac gets the rebound. He goes up with it. Second chance points there by the Clippers. And that's how you fight for the basketball. It's now a double-digit lead as we get into less than six minutes to go. And the Spurs' chances of winning this game are starting to fade. One may have a nice step back, but it doesn't go. Instead, it's another miss for San Antonio. Litter now on the other end trying to drive by his man. He's just gonna send it over to Westbrook as we get almost to the five minute mark. Hand off now for George, right side. Pass over to Leonard. Five seconds left to go on the shot clock, gets a screen. Leonard drives inside, tries to find Westbrook who pulls for three with a shot clock winding down, but he misses. Victor does get the rebound. Now we're at five minutes left to go. The Spurs need to get going, and they need to get going now. Jones stonewalled by Westbrook. He had Victor for a second. Instead, it's a bad layup that misses, and the Clippers again are going the other way. George trying to drive inside. Finds a cutting. Leonard at the bucket. Two more points. It's now a 13-point lead, the largest lead since the end of the first quarter. And, well, it's 89-76. to 76. Spurs are running out of time as they have 4.45 left to go. Trey Jones will bring it up. Being guarded now by Terrence Mann. He's actually checked in for Russell Westbrook down the stretch. Trying to give Russell a little bit of a break as this one's starting to become out of reach. Jones at the top of key now for Sochan. Kenyon Martin is also in at the power forward position. He's had a very good ball game. Wimby tries to take a long two and he does connect. Is that one nice floater there by Victor. He makes it 89 to 78. Now an 11 point deficit. The Spurs trying to fire their way up. Leonard will get a screen left side. As he'll pull, this one is a miss. It's rebounded by San Antonio. Keldon Johnson now with a chance to make it a single digit lead. As Trey Jones gives it up. Jones now trying to go around Victor. He's being guarded by Kawhi Leonard. And he gets called for a charge. That ball will go the other way. And we'll go to the end of this ball game as the Clippers will win by a final score of 101 to 94. The Clippers started strong and they ended strong. The middle was a very hotly contested ball game, but instead the Clippers were able to come out on top. Victor did have 29 points and 15 rebounds, a very impressive showing for the number one overall pick, but the Clippers were just too much, led by the 28 of Leonard and the 25 of Paul George. Kenya Martin also had 15, and Zubach, how about him on the glass? 20 rebounds leads the way out of all players. I did say this is round one because two days later these teams would play again. The Clippers would also win this one. Despite a 45-point fourth quarter, the Clippers hold on and win 118-110. to 110. Next game, the Clippers, they win again. Now a 500 team, they blow out the Pelicans by 35, 113-78. And the very next night in a game where Leonard and Westbrook didn't play, the Clippers, they put a 41 in the fourth quarter and come back and beat the Mavericks 123 to 118. So we're now riding a five game winning streak to end the week. Speaking of the week, players of the week, Trey Young gets in the East. Nikolai Jokic gets it in the West. And speaking of Jokic, we'll see the Nuggets again in the next episode. 
And if you remember, we played this team two weeks ago where we lost to the Nuggets. But both teams are underneath 500 in that game. Well, both teams are playing white-hot basketball, two of the hottest teams in the league, and they'll meet for a rematch here in L.A. I'm excited for that one. I want another shot at the defending champs. I think we can beat the Nuggets, and we'll have a chance to do it here. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you drop that like and you subscribe down below, especially if you want more Clippers content. This is Mr. Rob, and I'll see you in the next one.